Hey y'all, I'm coming at you from the William Hayes neighborhood in North Minneapolis and I just wanted to point a few things out here. So I am in North Minneapolis where the public transportation gets more scarce and apparently I've been walking for a while. Oh, I'm sorry, the Willard Homewood and apparently they call the cops over here which is fucking useless. They have the audacity to have the um, cop, wa the crime watch sign on their neighborhood watch sign. If there's anything that says predominantly white neighborhood more than that, I don't know what that would look like because that is a very white ass thing to do. But anyway, back to what I was saying about uh, the American railway system. So the reason that we didn't have a railway system in the past is because the auto industry bought up the railways and decommissioned them to push the initiative for domestically made vehicles and when our auto industry went bust we didn't have a recovery for that modern day speaking we don't have a railway system in my observed opinion because of the enforced class and race divide because out here in North Minneapolis, as I said, predominantly white neighborhoods heading this way, plenty of people have cars. And like in inner city areas, people live in inner city next to all the resources because they don't have vehicles. So they don't want the poor inner city people, which are usually black and brown people, to have access to those, to these white predominant areas while the white people have access to anywhere they want to go because they have the generational wealth to have vehicles. And of course, that's throwing poor white people under the bus. Poor white people also can't go anywhere they want to go because they can't afford a vehicle. And then as gentrification happens and these upper class white people go into the inner city, which pushes out the lower class people of color, then they lose access to their resources because they get pushed out and they still don't have vehicles. It's about this continuous unspoken enforcement, or in some places it is spoken, enforcement of keeping classes divided because as I also said, poor white people also get pushed out. It's race because it focuses on the generational poverty of black and brown people and then it's class because it's also throwing out poor white people while convincing them that white privilege isn't real because they're white and they're also poor. Either way you cut it, we don't have a railway system for modern segregation.